Good morning and welcome to IG Markets uh, market wrap for today. Overnight we actually saw uh, risk assets continue to get sold off in the typical risk off session which saw the bond markets uh, struggle um, particularly in the, on the Italian and uh, Spanish front after an Italian bond auction failed to impress. There's also continued worries about Greece leaving the euro and as well we saw some uh, US pending home sales data disappoint coming in um, at minus 5.5 percent um, after being expected to be unchanged for, for the month. Now we have seen this extend into uh, Australia, the Australian market this morning. The market's opened around 1.4 percent lower, testing uh, lows from last week and really down about 8 percent for the month. As a result, it's really been a terrible May for markets. Uh, there have been a few stocks that have um, done fairly well. We've got, we've got uh, David Jones, which came out with a third quarter update today. It hasn't been as bad as expected. As a result, the stock's relatively outperforming the poor performance we're seeing across the boards. Unfortunately, the resource space is one of the worst uh, performing uh, sector today, mainly because uh, of the risk of session we saw that uh, resulted in commodities being largely sold off overnight. Oil was down uh, over 3%, which was quite concerning, and it does seem like the energy sector will continue to come under pressure for a while. At the same time, gold did manage to pop higher, but unfortunately this hasn't extended to the gold stocks. We are seeing uh, weakness across the sector, with Newcrest also down about 1.5%. So it definitely looks like uh, we, we are in for, for a tough session. We are about to test our key support levels with the 4024 level kicking in, which was support from last week. If we do break that level, then we are wide open for a move down to 4,000, which is psychological support. In, in a case where we do break that support, then uh, we are wide open for a move to around 3850, which was uh, supported at some stage last year. So it really does seem like the bears are in control at the moment. The overall strategy looks like it's uh, going to remain selling into strength for now. And it does seem like we will need to see some comprehensive solution to the European crisis before there's confidence that will help investors uh, come off the sidelines and start investing in this market.